Namaste to all. Welcome. Good morning. We are doing exercise two, observing the self and the body by the self. After exercise one, where we were observing the self by the self, now in exercise two, we will also observe the body. At the same time, we will be continuing to observe the self. and its interaction with the body also and as the steps go we'll go further not just observing the body and the interaction with the body but also the interaction with other human beings the world outside so in exercise 2 step 1 we were trying to see the self and the body that the self exists i am there the body also exists the body is also, also there so these are two distinct entities two distinct realities the body representing the material reality the self representing the consciousness a unit of consciousness in step 2 we started to see this interaction between the self and the body that all this interaction that is taking place between the self and the body it is only an exchange of information nothing physical is being transferred from one place to another so this exchange of information what is this exchange of information the body has many activities going on within it and these activities lead to some sensations in the body this information how do i get this information i read these sensations and i make sense out of them make give some meaning to them and with that i may choose to decide to give some instruction to the body and that instruction to the body is also information that is received by the body so yesterday we were trying to see this in some detail we asked you to do the first two steps of this assignment one to try and observe the instructions that you are giving to the body and notice if you are giving instructions to the body all the time or only sometimes second try and observe the various sensations that are taking place in the body and note are you reading the sensations in the body all the time or only sometimes again are you reading all the sensations in the body or only some of them and what is the basis on which you are reading these sensations if this is not happening all the time then between 1 and 2 what else is happening what is going on within you so that uh, we had asked you to try and see all day yesterday so if anybody would like to share what they could observe what they could deduce or conclude from this namaste ma'am namaste to uh ma'am uh, when we yesterday when we sat and observed uh we are not in uh, in that time uh, there is no body movement uh mm-hmm. i observed that we are not given the instruction all the time mm-hmm. and uh, we are given the instruction when we want to do something that is when when we want to do some act 
by the time we get, we are given the instruction that is the one observation and uh, uh, when i observe the sensation is there in the body uh, mm. like uh, without a body movement uh, i get a, i smell that uh, agarbatti when they are doing the puja outside mm. um, and i hear that uh, sounds uh, which are going on surrounding uh, and uh, uh, i can feel that where i am sitting Uh, like body sensation is there always and also i can say that uh, uh, when i uh, give an attention for the observation usually we observe that significant sound that is like a, a vehicle sound or maybe a dog barking like that but when we give that more attention we can observe that the minute sound which is going on surrounding also uh that we are not recognized if we are not given an attention yeah in the beginning it is mm-hmm. like that that you have to take time mm-hmm. out separately to try to observe what is happening inside mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but as you become more efficient at it as you keep doing this practice of looking mm-hmm. within every day if you spend mm-hmm. say half an hour mm-hmm. you sit down and try to observe this and maybe you put a reminder for yourself to observe during the day mm. also when you are busy mm. and you're active mm. you will mm. notice that you can while doing your activities outside also you can keep track of what is happening inside because ultimately you want to be happy not just in that half an hour that you sit and you are peaceful mm-hmm. you want to be happy all the time and sometimes we will be see when we are not observing what is happening is we are flowing with that b2 we are yeah, going yeah. along with the thoughts mm therefore we are not observing mm yeah but if from a higher plane we keep observing then we will always know what is going on yeah is it yeah nice very nice yeah. thank you thank you ma'am thank you yes um shrinivas ji good morning didi am i audible didi yes you are audible yes uh, one thing i could observe uh, this self is uh, having uh, full control uh, to create uh, sensations in the body am i correct didi full control to Uh, to create any uh, actions in the body or uh, instruct the body and uh, in turn uh, it will uh, receive the sensations yeah i wouldn't call it create because you see the body it, uh, self can give instruction to the body to do some actions and in turn those uh, sensations through the actions uh, will be uh, received by the self mhm received in the sense how are they received means uh, suppose uh, physiochemical actions will be occur due to the body uh, system that those, those physiochemical reactions uh, uh, can be occur due to the cause of the self because what i have observed is uh, sometimes if i feel uh, peace of mind and uh, comfortable very comfortable we may uh, 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 create uh, instruct the body or we may feel uh, some angry okay if uh, mind uh, is having lot of disturbances and uh, very emergency work to do we won't feel angry means uh, such physiochemical reactions uh, will not be occur so it's all in the self which leads to uh, uh, make these actions uh, am i correct yeah i would look at it in more depth that is it only that sensations are resulting from my instructions or there may be sensations those those okay. instructions given by the self so leads to uh, the actions physiochemical actions uh, reactions all those uh, what i feel because uh, if i well see i don't is, need to give instruction for many of the activities that are already going on in the self yeah at, in uh, the body otherwise, 
automatically it may happen with these physiochemical reactions due to the region of the cell fall if self if myself feel very much uh, peacefulness and uh, comfortable i i have an feeling of uh, take something or feeling angry like this because this hungry or no, see those... wait 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 now there are some activities that are going on in the body by virtue of its own self organization also yes 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 isn't it that is also yes so supposing now the body at a regular time every day i eat food at a particular time yes hmm? yes. yes yes so at that time now the body there will be some secretion of acid in the stomach yes i am not giving instructions specifically for that isn't it yes. Yes. but it's yes. happening now the difference is that even though it's happening i may or may not choose to read it this is yes. what is being said yes yes isn't it so the sensation may be happening in the body it may be a result of the instruction i gave it may be part of the self organization of the body some activities are there so some sensations result from that yes yes but i may or may not read those yes some of them i may not read because i don't think them important enough to pay attention to at that time others yes. i may not be able to read because i don't have the competence yet so many sounds are taking place no yes. the heart is beating all those sounds the blood is being pumped i may not be able to hear them unless i pay attention close attention and i keep paying attention the subtler sounds i may not be able to hear right now yes okay so yes. the sensations um this is what you know we can look at it and see if it is like that that sensations are taking place in the body as part of you know many activities that are going on but uh, what i mean to say is uh, if mind is having lot of disturbance and uh, a uh, lot of uh, uh, difficulties uh, feeling something uh, else uh, then it disturbs the whatever actions uh, rendered by the body it disturbs a lot because i feel lot of hungry suppose if i heard some news that it is uh, giving some emergency and some bad feelings or some something so then immediately my hungry will gone off is am i correct uh, so it uh, reflects the actions on the body also the self will reflect yes, certainly the certainly you are saying that the, whatever we are feeling thinking that has some impact on the body this is what you are yeah saying. the action regular actions happen in the body timely suppose hungry or timely need and everything that will disturb a lot because of the self uh, something happen in the feelings or some thoughts or something yes true thank you thank you uh, surya khan ji and then devi prasan ji yeah good morning didi good morning didi i have some two questions uh, related to this uh, observation to the body yeah observation of the body through the self that's one observation what i made is i am having some sensation at the teeth so that i can observe it but is there any possibility that before that whatever is happened and the pain occurred can the self observe something is going on that is the one question and What do one you more mean, uh, meaning some sensation before the pain sensation yeah yeah that's it. let us say today i am feeling uh, pain at the particular teeth so before that something might have been went to reach the pain today that is is there possibility that whether self can observe the pain before that or something what is going on so that a person can take care of it certainly but we don't pay attention no like when you eat something now you may feel the sensation of 
the food that that is stuck to the teeth or to the tongue something like that but we don't pay attention to it if we did we would note that you know food is stuck to the teeth and there is a chance for bacteria to grow in that place there is a chance for infection to happen there so we will rinse the mouth we will brush the teeth we will do something to get rid of this food that is stuck but certainly we can feel all this i mean we can read these sensations but we may not pay attention to it because at that time something else is more important to us so we are not paying attention i mean you can notice this you are wearing some clothes isn't it you are already wearing some clothes yes sir now the sensation of the cloth on your skin can you read that yes i can yes are you reading it all the time yeah that is the question that's when i feel something <laughs> cold or something at that, that moment i can observe it ah that's what so what is significant for you you read that sensation other sensations you may not read consciously because somewhere you have decided that this is fine i don't need to read this yes isn't it yes actually reading sensations is necessary for surviving in the outside world for everyday day to day existence in the outside world isn't it yes sir it is essential for that otherwise there would be big problem but somewhere you have decided what is important for me to read what is not important for me to read so you don't read some sensations you read some other sensations whenever there is a change in the sensation like you are wearing some slippers you take off the slippers and put your foot on the ground now you feel that sensation of cold against the floor bare floor yes but when you were wearing your slippers you were not aware of the sensation perhaps of the slipper against your foot because it was uh, a temperature that was like comfortable and it was continuing for a while so you have decided that it's not necessary to keep reading this sensation so you don't pay attention to it yes yes all this we can try to notice for ourselves that we are choosing isn't it we are deciding based on something when we are reading a sensation but many sensations may be there we may not be reading them yes. isn't it yes yes, yes. and yes. one more question devi that's uh, some of the internal parts of the body we cannot see with our bare eyes hmm and even i think we cannot uh, sense what is going on with those different parts like say heart or kidney heart beat anyway i would say we it. don't have the competence right now don't say we can't do it because a possibility is there yes yeah yes certainly okay. possibility is there the okay. self Thank is you. capable of a lot we may not have explored those possibilities but the capacity is there in the self to read all these sensations because any sensation happening in the body is gross compared to the subtleness of the self so it can certainly read those but right now we may not have the competence so therefore it looks like something is just you know it is something impossible even when you say we can't see the internal part yes. so to you know you don't have to look down at your feet to feel the sensation in the foot do you yes yes it is just by even don't closing have... eyes also i can have the yeah. sensation so you don't see what you are seeing through the eyes that is also a sensation it is important to see that what is happening when you are seeing an object or when you are seeing a part of the body is that the image of that part is falling on your retina isn't it yes yes that is also a sensation 
you are using the sense organ I in this case. So you can use the sense organ I and get information. Even without using the I, you can use the other senses to get information. The sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of hearing, so on. Isn't it? Yes, yes, Devi. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Devi. Thank you very much. Thank you. So right now, I will mute myself. We will try to observe these two points again. Instructions we are giving to the body and the sensations that are taking place in the body. Are we reading all the sensations all the time or only sometimes? And what is the basis for us reading a particular sensation? Try to observe this. <coughs> yes, so we have been observing for about 10 minutes now. We'll do this, um, this whole exercise uh, today. We'll try to observe this all day today. The instructions we are giving to the body, the sensations that are taking place in the body, how we are reading them. Are we reading them sometimes, all the time? What is the basis? Why are we reading some sensations? Try to see this in yourself. And this third part, any activity that you are doing, try to do it slowly and observe the interaction that is taking place between the self and the body during that activity. So this we'll do all day today and we'll take your observations tomorrow and then we'll move on to the next step.